Hi all. Today we will be speaking about a new feature which will be introduced in the upcoming Angular 15 called Directive Composition. So currently it is available in the pre-release version of Angular 15. So what is meant by Directive Composition? So let's take a look. So for this purpose I have created a new Angular project using the pre-release version of Angular 15. So in this I have an app component and within that there is a component called the app child. So within the app child I am just displaying a text and I want to provide some style to this particular text using two directives. So one directive is the app color and other is the app bold. So if you go to the directives this is the app bold directive. What it does is it basically applies the font weight style as bold and the color directive basically it provides the color style as red. So when we apply these two directives to our child component that is the child works text what happens is that the text we see it becomes red in color and also bold in font weight. So one thing you would have noticed is that in case we need to apply this combination of directives in multiple places in our application, we need to apply all these directives individually. So here in this example, I have only two directives. So I applied it here. Suppose there are like five related characteristics which are implemented as five different directives and we need to apply these five related properties in multiple places of our application, it can be bothersome for the developer. So in order to avoid this, the new Directive Composition API, what it does is, it provides a way through which we can consolidate all these directives into a single directive and we can apply that consolidated directive or composite directive here and it will internally have all the properties of our individual directives. So let's see how we can create a composite directive. So one thing you would have noticed is that here we are making use of standalone components throughout our application and all these directives as well these are also standalone. One restriction which is currently applicable to the directive composition is that it can be applied only to standalone components and standalone directives. So now let's create a third directive which in turn combines both these directives. So here is the style directive which I have created and again it is a standalone directive. Now what we can do is a new option called host directives have been added. There we can provide our color directive as well as the font weight directive. So once we add this, we can go to our child component and instead of importing both these, we can just import the new style directive and also the, the selector of the style directive that is app style. We can go ahead and apply this to our p tag which contains the text. So now you can see that when we inspect our application, the new directive has been applied, but the behavior still remains the same. That is the color changed along with the bold attribute. So this is the basic principle of directive composition in Angular 15. So the example directives which we saw till now, they were very simple. Like the color which we want to apply to our element it was hard coded within the directive and similarly the bold style that was also hard coded within our font weight directive. So now let's see a real world scenario in which we might need to pass the color as an input to our directives. So how can we handle this kind of scenarios? So first I have modified the color directive 
in such a way that it accepts input string called color which will be applied to our element using the renderer.set style and similarly we have the font weight directive where we have an input called weight which will accept a string from outside and apply it to the font weight style of our element. If we go back to our child component, currently we have only the app style applied to our element. So when we go back, you can see that the styles are not getting applied on the element. So how can we fix this? So we go to the style directive. So we have given the symbol format of our host directives. There is a complex format like as an object, we give the directive name as the directive property and the inputs which we need to define. So currently it is a string array. So we can provide the name of the input that is color. Similarly, we can change our font directive as well. So the input was weight. So I have provided that as well. So even now it doesn't work because we have not provided any input. So here comes one limitation which I found while exploring the directive composition. So in case of simple directives where there are no inputs, it is quite convenient that we can compose our directive and create a composite directive and apply it in a consuming part. Like here we apply only the single directive but in case we need inputs for each of our directives again we go back to our old format that is whatever public input we exposed here we need to apply that here in our consuming part so here we need to provide the input color and also the weight which we give it as bold so once we provide these inputs you can see that the styles are getting applied on our element. So it would have been great if we had an option to combine these inputs as a single one so that we needn't again give multiple attributes for accepting the inputs separately. So I couldn't find any reference for how to achieve this. If any of you find anything, please put it in the comment. So now let's make it a bit more dynamic. So here I have adding two text box which accepts the color and the weight. So we can replace the static property with a dynamic property and provide the variable name here. Similarly, we can convert the weight as well. And we will be providing that here. Similarly, we have added the color and weight properties here. So once we do that, we have two input boxes. So in case I type some color here, it will be applied automatically to our element. Similarly, we can provide the font style as well. So now in the composite directive, there is another option in which we can rename our inputs. So in case I need to provide a custom name for my color, property or color input what we can do is we can separate it by colon and provide the new name so this will be our publicly exposed input name so now you can see that an error is thrown so this my color we can apply here so once we do that you can see that the style is getting applied so similarly we can provide the same for the weight as well. So our changes are working as expected. One thing to keep in mind is that unless we provide the inputs array, the properties won't be exposed. So in case I had not provided the inputs, then I will not be able to provide the inputs here. So similar to inputs, we will be able to provide outputs as well. So here I have created a third directive called click emit directive. So it basically 
emit some value by listening to the click event so here we can include that as well within our composite directive and instead of inputs we have a key called outputs where we can provide the name of the publicly exposed output emitter so here first let us give the name app emit itself so we just provide it here and within the child directive we can listen to the app emit event and we handle that by showing an alert so once we give this when i click on the child works you can see that an alert box is shown so similar to the inputs here again we can rename or provide custom name so here i am just giving it as emit so let's see what happens so here we rename our property as emit and again it works as expected these are some of the basic features of directive composition api which will be introduced in angular 15 so it is currently in the experimental phase in angular 15 pre-release so hope you are able to get a good overview about the directive composition api in angular 15 see you soon thank you